noise. Panic as unknown gunmen kill policemen, burn operational vehicles in fresh attack on security posts in Anambra states. Unknown gunmen have killed a yet to be a certain number of policemen and set their vehicles ablaze in Anambra state. It was learned that many other policemen were injured during the shooting incident at a security post mounted by the operatives at Okija Ihiala local government area of the state on Thursday evening. About three police vehicles were also set ablaze. A source said, other circumstances surrounding the attack, including the identities of the attackers, had yet to be ascertained as at the time of filing this report. The incident is the latest in what appears to be a growing trend of attacks on police stations and security personnel in the southeast region of the country. The governors in the region recently announced the establishment of a joint security outfit could named Ebubeago to battle rising insecurity. The Nigerian government has blamed the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, long with its security wing, Eastern Security Network, ESN, for the attacks. As allegation, the secessionist group, as an allegation, the secessionist group has denied. <laughs> oh, there is fire on the mountain in the southeast. This is all sponsored um, stage managed attacks in the start in the southeast. That is it. They are looking for a way to declare state of emergency in Anambra State, so that the November election, whatever, you know, will not go on. This government, they know what they are doing. Some persons are just behind this attack. Because it really is really very, very funny. Before now, we've not been hearing anything about attacks in Anambra State or whatever and, and all that. So why now? Why now? Buari is the cause of all this killing in Southeast. It should dialogue with all those guys. Using force is not going to work. There is no way the word that I heard or seen that they use force to settle disputes. First of all, it should release Nam the canoe. There is no way these people will stop all these attacks except they release their leader and dialogue with them. That is how that is how civilized country do. This Nigeria are reacting. This is Nigerian reaction. Okay, someone said, I witnessed this yesterday along on a expressway or Keja Anambra. The fear of unknown gunmen is the beginning of raising for police. They were all running into bush. We have always known that unknown gunmen are government-sponsored agents. Only last week, they unmarked themselves as Nigerian DSS. Nigerian DSS unknown gunmen. That is all I know. The IG should call on policemen to law abiding on their duties. The height of extortion meaning harassment, illegal arrest and assault within Southeast Road is on increase. Forgiveness is of God, but man's duty to send bad elements to God for quick judgment. They must target they must target where Chingwe Talago is detained and move to free him by all means necessary. This internal colonization must be resisted. Nigerians are still talking. Only the Northerners knew when and how Boko Haram started in Nigeria. DSS finally, finally retaliated by killing police officers. Now, the unknown gunmen has been known gunmen. I refuse to believe that the recent killing in Anambra State is not political because of the so-called election that may not even hold. Don't gossip about Biafra anymore in the guise of making suggestions to DOS. All right, someone just dropped that. I don't know what it means by that. When you push them to the wall, you leave them with no other option than to fight back. Well done, Buhari. Those polo men have been brought to book kudos to the unknown angels that fight for us. There is a serious problem in Nigeria. I agree with this. 
which unknown government, they should ask Nigerian DSS what is really going on in Southeast. Nothing like unknown gunmen. Stop calling them unknown gunmen. Rather call them DSS. So DSS have indirectly reacted against the police for killing one of them as unknown gunmen. Honestly, this is getting out of hand and something has to be done. Our Southeast leaders refuse to understand what is happening in the region, that all these things are all political motivated, just to make sure that no election in Anambra State. They want APC governor, and that is it. Nigerian government is trying hard, though. We don't see any panic, though. okay, because this is a, this is a normal stuff. We are no longer panicking. We have seen the worst. When they finish dealing with security forces, they will turn to you and your relative guys. Be ready to drink what you ordered. Same with Boko Haram. This is how it all started, exactly. First, they have massive support from the people. Later, they started blackmailing those that don't support their cause. Keep celebrating criminals. Una we don't know, we said. Government set up securities against their killing agents, covered by DSS to tarnish the image of IPOP. Finished. They are all DSS workers. Stop calling them an unknown gunman. This is the handwork of Nigerian soldiers, Operation Golden Penny. <laughs> Why police wait for those zombies with operation? With operation? Beg your pardon. Nothing come out just to kill and threaten innocent Igbos. This is the same thing that happened in Imo State. Nothing like unknown gunmen. This is a political motivated. <laughs> I think there is a serious problem in the Southeast. There is fire on the mouth. They should find out who have declared war on them. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly hit the comment section. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for always stopping by. I do really appreciate it. Bye for now. Thank you.